Last time on Mounted Games, we met two sets of talented riders and their ponies. Olivia with Briar and Isabel with Kevin, and Riley with Nimble and Sophie with Polly. Both pairs are serious contenders for the Mounted Games Under-17 Championship at Horse of the Year, or Hoy for short. And today, they're both competing in the Hawke's Bay Regional Event. It's the first pairs competition before Hoy, and it's a good practice to get all the ponies ready. I'm most excited about riding with Olivia because she's so fun to ride with and so competitive, which is good. In Mounted Games, the riders compete in a series of challenges to earn points. Each game is a race against up to eight other pairs, so it's about how fast you can complete the task and mistakes slow you down. We're looking for speed, we're looking for accuracy, we're looking for agility, we're looking for the pony and rider to be working together and in a pairs competition of course that's two riders and two ponies to be working together and it does require a lot of skill. As you can imagine, leaning off the side of your pony and scooping things up and doing things at the speeds that these kids are doing them is amazing. The hardest thing for me during Mounted Games is probably vaulting. Bri goes really, really fast for the vault, so I don't really have any time to muck around. I've just got to grab her mane and jump on. <laughs> I actually really love the game Four Flag. It's uh, this game with these little holders, and you ride up, pick up a flag out of the cone, and you put it in the coloured holder that it matches with. And um, it's quite difficult, but I really like that game. Any game that's fast is it Nimble's favourite game, probably. He loves going fast. And it's often hard to stop him sometimes. After a series of heats, both our peers have done well and they're hoping they've made it into the finals. I don't like checking the points too much because, you know, when you know what you're coming and how many you need, it kind of can distract you and make you nervous. I haven't looked at the points yet, but we should still be going into the final in the lead, but we did have a very unlucky eliminations in that session just went. Apparently I didn't go, my horse's legs didn't go all the way over the line, so it was an elimination. I'm pretty sure I did, but I mean, it's just what happens, so yeah. Luckily, the elimination only counts for one race, and they should have earned enough points in other races to make up for it. We've got Isabel and Olivia, they're on 141 points. Um, then you've got, coming down here, you've got Riley and Sophie, they're on 113 points. So, going into the finals, Olivia and Isabel have a huge 28-point lead, but mistakes or more eliminations could let Sophie and Riley catch up. The finals consist of 10 different games. Each game uses different equipment and different horse and rider skills. This game is Speed Weavers. We've got Olivia and Isabel in the far lane, with Riley and Sophie in the next. And then there's everyone else. They pass the baton, now Kevin against Polly. But Isabel dropped the baton, so Kevin has to go back. This one little mistake has left the game open for Sophie and Polly. Here comes Kevin back into it now, but Sophie and Riley take the winning points for that game. The ponies went really, really well. They just ran and ran and ran. They were little angels for us. So. Yeah. <laughs> This one is called Hoopla. Olivia and Riley are up first, putting the ring on the cone. Now they have to pick up a ring off the ground, both choosing to hop off and vault back on. Now they pass the rings to their partners who place on the cone. Now Isabel is leaning off Kevin to scoop up that ring. Sophie does the same, but all oh, misses the pickup. Second attempt and she's got it. But that one slip up gives Olivia and Isabel the race. Over the next few games, the pairs battle it out, looking very even and with very few mistakes, apart from this one. Oh no. We like cut the corner a bit and then took the whole bin out and then Bryce stood on the ice cream container and wrecked it and then the whole lid came off. <laughs> Just, it was a mess. <laughs> the last game of the event today is called Two Flag. Isabel and Riley to start. Kevin and Nimble pretty even on speed. They pop the flag in and head back grab a new flag and pass to their partner. Now it's Olivia versus Sophie. Olivia with the slimmest of leads and Briar's long legs keep her ahead to win this one, just. I didn't think it was our best final. No. We've ridden way better finals together. Yeah, we have. It's ribbon time. On second place on 168 points, we've got Riley and Sophie. So Riley and Sophie take out second place. Well done. And the winners with 196 points are Olivia and Isabel. Excellent work.
pretty happy. Yeah. <laughs> always happy when you take the win. It's always a good yeah. feeling. We are very happy with how we rode in our final. We definitely, that was our best session out of all, by far. Out of all the three, we made up a lot of points, which was really good. And we somehow managed to pull off a second. So we're both really pleased about that. Next time on Mounted Games, it's Horse of the Year 2019 and riders and their horses have come from all over Aotearoa to compete. The pressure is on for our pairs to do well in the heats. We want to win. <laughs>